Staten Island Soccer Report coming to you live tonight from the studios of CTV. Another special show tonight. We're going to cover the World Cup. Also, as you can see behind us, if Brian could fix that somehow, the uh, there you go. Staten Island Silver Lake Academy logo behind us. We have a special guest alongside me always, Frank Tricomi, Michael Canazaro from Silver Lake Academy. He's going to help us break down the World Cup. But before we get to that, Frank, you have some special important news to share with us. Yeah, uh, last uh, week, I guess it would week and a half ago, the Greg Kills thing uh, clinched uh, first place for uh, the U8 uh, Division IV uh, boys uh, division. So you finally so won the division. Congratulations yeah. on the air live tonight. Thank you. Finally won your first division. Yeah. I'm sure that felt special. Yeah, especially after a tough season in the fall. Now all the hard work you put in, you know, finally yeah. paid off a little bit. All right. These boys have been playing twice a week since they're about like six. How did the boys so. react after knowing? Oh, did you clinch it last, the last game? Or was yeah, it, oh. it was the last game. Okay. I, actually, it was. I guess it was kind of like anticlimactic. Right. Because we, I think we played the, I guess now you got to say, the second best team in the division right. on and the second to last game. They had beaten us three mm-hmm. nothing the first game. Mm-hmm. We right. came back in game seven. Gotcha. Beat them two one and then we played a Petridi team which well you, you know, know it was their first season so and let's just note that you're also playing up. Yes. The boys are playing up a year. Yes. So the boys are All playing right. up. That's a little different and special. You know what? Good luck to you going into next season. It's right around the corner. Thank you. Hopefully you could repeat. You know, the target's on you now. They got the bullseye on you. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so all right. You know, we're going to. the ladder, you know. Again, congrats on that. And we're going to focus. Uh, we're going to go right over to Michael and see what's going on with his career. I know he's a travel player. We'll let him explain uh, what's going on. Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you, guys. So, uh, right from the start, I guess, just um, – you know, let's go right from the beginning. How did you get into soccer? Well, I started playing. I would always go with my dad to the field because um, my sister, she played. You get dragged so to the field, yeah. right? Just like I dragged <laughs> my kids. I was, little, All right. and I was All right. about four when I started playing. All right. So my dad would show me, and I, I always I always loved it. So I just stuck with it from there, and then I started playing travel afterwards. And so you loved the game pretty much at what age did you start? I started about playing, about like four and a half, five. Wow, so you pretty much loved it right from the start, yeah. right? Let me ask you a question. Um, how old are you now? You're, seven, 17. you're 17. At any time between the age of maybe 13 and seven, did you ever think about like soccer is like not you know not a good sport? Did you ever think about changing to a different sport? I never thought about changing, but I thought maybe given up. When I was 12 or 13, yeah, mm-hmm. we my, te- my team had just moved to like the top really top division. Right. So like we w- we didn't do that good the first season. So I was like maybe I should just like play for fun. But then after that, we got settled in, started doing much better. Okay. And then, yeah. Started. Well, you know, I got to say this. If, you know, don't ever quit because your team is yeah, not exactly. playing well, you know. You stick with it. Y- you know, you kind of only could control what you do. Exactly. Right? So you can't really – You one player, as we all know, we'll get into the World Cup, one player doesn't make a team. So you never really had thoughts of dropping soccer, no, right? Never the baseball, soccer, no. any pressure from kids in school saying soccer is like no. a sissy sport, no? Well, it was never like – a lot of people I know had mostly played baseball or football yeah. or basketball, but yeah. I always loved soccer, even okay. if a lot of people didn't. So no kids really say anything bad about soccer, no. like the football, like the football captain. Not really. It. No, really. No. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. At least they didn't say it in front of me. So. If there All was, right. John will go beat him up. Anyway. Well, we'll you know, have he's to very say. passionate about this. I just know that there's a lot of that peer, like pressure with kids, you know, with soccer being one of the most least liked sports in this country, yeah. you know. So, all right. So what are you up to now? What what's going on with your soccer uh, career now? Well, I'm playing for a U17 travel team. Okay. I play uh, center mid for them. I've played since I was about nine or ten years old. Right. So um, been playing that, and now next year I'm probably I'm going to be going to college. So for the first semester I'm going to just get used to that. Okay. And then maybe try for the college team, and then. What's the name of your your, your team now that you're on? Uh, Silver Lake Soccer Academy yeah. Strikers. The Strikers, and you d- you're done playing. You guys yeah, are done. Yeah, this is. For me, at least, because I can't go up the next year. Okay, so you can't. So you're basically just going to go into college yeah. and, s- and see how that goes, right? Mm-hmm. 
You want to mention what college you're going to? Uh, I'm going to College of Staten Island, the okay. Arizona Foot Eagles. Okay, how's that team? Do you know? They're good, yeah. yeah. They've actually been doing really good. So okay. Join them. All right. Like a total and you have time. to make that team, right? You have yeah. To, you can't just go on it. You have yeah, to they try out. Try out. Like I said, the first semester, I want to just get used to, to, play, like to, to college and okay. everything. Okay. So then after that, I'll just maybe try out for them. What else do you do? I know that your dad, we got your dad here in the studio. He was on the show a couple of, was it a month ago in May, right? We yeah. had Frank on. I know your dad's a big part of what you do. There's a camp going on right now that you guys are holding, right? At Miller yeah, Field. I've been How's working uh, like a summer clinic for kids, for kids of almost all ages. I've been, I've you been training You figure from four and up, right? Yeah. Four and up. About yeah. that. I train the six and seven year olds and yeah, I love training them. I was down there last night, and I can't believe. I mean, actually, I, I'm most happy to see all the kids down there. Yeah. Over 300 over kids. Yeah. You yeah. got about f how many trainers? I'd yeah, say about over 20 at least. At least a lot, a lot. A bunch of trainers. I mean, it was just a great, just turning around, looking around Miller Field and seeing a lot of kids playing the sport of soccer. Yeah. Made yeah. me happy. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was down there uh, for the first time last week. I guess I'm a little bit late, and I threw a couple. No, you're always there. late. That's why. Yeah, I'm always late. late. Yeah. Uh, I got there like midway through, and I yeah. couldn't believe. You know, it's how a good turnout. Has parked. It's an excellent turnout. Golf course. It's good to see. All the different <laughs> fields with my kids on three different fields. I'm thinking about like maybe stealing the Uncle yeah. Willie Jeep spot yeah. and riding it around. <laughs> all right, Michael. So. What do you? What else do you see? How far do you see yourself going? I'm always curious to find out what's in a young guy's mind as far as soccer. How? Where do you see yourself going with soccer? Well, I'm just right now. I'm just enjoying it. I never want to yeah. like put too much pressure on yourself okay. to do that. Just enjoy playing and just like have fun doing it. You know, if it takes you anywhere, then it will. If not, then let the chips fall. Yeah. yeah, let them fall. With them. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for Brian to get us back on the screen, eh? Yeah. He's playing with the Mickey Mouse <laughs> buttons in the back there. So, <laughs> uh, all right. So basically, you're gonna hang out. Don't stop training. I guess would be yeah. my advice. You got to keep going yeah. because you don't want to get you know you get yourself a little yeah. rusty there. All right, let's just jump right into it. I guess anything else you want to mention about the the Silver Lake Academy? Well, what, I mean, I train for them. I train for them a lot. I help my dad. He has a U11 boys team. Right. And I help them all the time through okay. practice. And we're also they're making a new U8 team for next year. So I've U8 been training them. is it that's both? On, well, they, they can be both, but I think this team is just going to be boys. Just boys, yeah. just a boys team. All right. Any other? So how long is this uh, clinic going on for? It's going, I think the last day is July 23rd, and it's every week, every Monday and Wednesday. So the week. 23rd, so you got three more weeks, yeah. twice a week. Mm -hmm. I guess if anyone's still interested and wants to come down, right? Yeah, definitely. If you want to come down, just come down. There's a desk there. Sign up there. And right. Hopefully we'll so you're there. at... Um, Field one, I think it is, yeah. right? Field, yeah, one, field which one, which is, on field. which is, n which is, you take Newdorf Lane all the all way, the way down, down to the end, yeah, to the and back you just end. right, you follow the first parking lot there, I think yeah. it is, right? So if anybody wants to come down, you're there from six to eight. Yeah, about it. All right, you come down, you could sign up for that. There's three weeks left. There's plenty of time. All right, anything else about the? Uh, that's it. Okay, I guess we could just jump right into it. And uh, you know, I was told that I have to eat some crow. Because I uh, basically said that the U.S. would be three and out in the World Cup, but you know what? They weren't far from being three and out. In my mind, they they won a game versus Ghana. You know, any thoughts on that? Let's just break down game by game for now with the U.S. We'll focus on the U.S. because of what happened just a little while ago. The Ghana game, I guess they did with that. You know, they squeaked out a win yeah. against Ghana. They had to beat that team. That was the one game that you had to have. Right. To first of all, to get you started off on the right track. Right. And second of all, uh, if you want to say the U.S. was the weakest team in there, Ghana was obviously the second weakest team. So you got that was yeah. Did, you this had to have. in this World Cup, yeah, but in previous World Cups, they they've knocked the U.S. You out know. pretty much. Huh? Well, yeah, I'm saying even if the U.S. was the worst and Ghana was second to them right they as far as like, like Germany and Portugal being on top right. you had to have this one because you knew Germany was going to be a tough game and you didn't know what you were going to get with Portugal yes I mean uh, I, what's your thoughts on that first game Michael I that agree that was like a that was a must win game yeah if they didn't win that one I I thought they weren't definitely not gonna get out of the group but they did I thought Ghana played really good against them after we got the early goal 
Right, so they, they came played, on. They started to play really well, but we held out. That was like a 30 seconds or how long? Yeah, like 30 seconds so in, that was a quick goal. It was a mistake by Ghana, obviously. All right, game two. Um, Portugal, they kind of uh, – they should have had that game, they right? They should have they won that game. They should have won that one, and that would have clinched it that they went through anyway. And I think that would have probably been the first time in the first two games yeah, of the World ever. Cup that they clinch a, right, a, a spot into the into the next round. You know, what, what happened in my mind in that game, I think it's just skill. Mm -hmm. It comes down to skill and, and play is uh, Cristiano, right, yeah. with that cross Great in the goal. middle. And, uh, and that's what the U.S. is lacking, skilled players, you know. It was an up and down game, though. You you losing, one nothing. Yeah, you Once know you're playing a team that they're always chasing. Should be better than you. Mm -hmm. You're chasing them, and you then you score two goals, and you feel like, all right, we just got to squeak this out for another couple of minutes. And I think Bradley had a terrible tournament. Is that safe to say? I would say he's definitely I, the first three games. Bad terrible. giveaways. Yeah. All, all, in all the games, he had something to do with a goal, giving up a goal. Especially that game, the Portugal game. Yeah. He had the ball, he lost it, and then they scored right there. And I don't know why. They w I heard some, some stories that he was playing out of position. So, I, you mean, know, I think that's an that, excuse. Yeah. I think that's an excuse. I mean, if I'm I, – I played keeper. You could probably relate to a little bit more. You have a midfielder like, you know. If you give the ball up, it's yeah. just you made a mistake and exactly. just own up to it. I don't want to hear you know what you agreed to play that position. You went onto the field playing that position. You whatever happens, mm -hmm. good or bad, you got to take it. So he's had a terrible tournament. He's one of the guys that you could blame, really. Yeah, you really can. And I don't think I'll, we're going to see him anyway in four years. I think he's done. Yeah, I hope he's done at least. I hope. So any thoughts? Anything else on that second game before we move on? How, how does that change the complexion? I didn't really look at it. Did they have a chance to win, even if they lost to Germany? If they win that Portugal game? Oh, if they win the really Portugal game, they clinch a spot into the sixth round of 16. Ha would they have the chance to win the group? Uh, the group? Uh, they I didn't would really look at it. They would have been tied with Germany, so whatever happened in that Germany game, that they would have decided. Yeah. No, no. The, if they would have beat Germany, they would have won the group. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but being that they lost to Germany, yeah, it, it really right. It didn't do much for them. Yeah. It just would have been nicer if they won that game. I again. think for the U.S., you don't worry about winning any groups at all. Yeah. At well, any yeah. time, you I just mean, worry just about getting yeah. through. <laughs> Especially you, the group you, that they got this year. It doesn't even matter. And I don't even think it was a bad group. It wasn't that tough. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Right, exactly. So got Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, let's break down the next game which was another disaster, I think, in my mind, the Germany game. Mike, we'll start with you. What do you think, you know, break I down that game? I mean, Germany definitely outplayed them the whole time. They yeah. played good defense for most of it, but just that one time they let the goal in, and I never really thought they were going to tie it after that goal went in. We got lucky with the goal. I think the European teams play a lot of possession. I think we've, yeah. we've seen that a lot, right? Well, all these European countries, they know how to hold the ball, and, and, that, and if I have the ball, you can't do anything with it, right? And that's what happened in that game. I think they outclassed them. I think they wanted to get back at their old coach. <laughs> uh, you know, I had, they had a lot to do, and I'm sure the coach wanted to get back yeah. at them, but he doesn't have the tools to do it, you know? Yeah. So the U.S. loses game number three and gets through on goal differential. And uh, what I don't understand, and, and this country is always going to support their team, their country, you know, the fan team, always going to back up the United States, right? Because that's what we do, but this team, I think, was lucky to get through. If that first game between Germany and Portugal is not four nothing, say it's one nothing, Germany, the United States is out and Portugal's through. So they got through on goal differential. Let's not kid ourselves here and think that the United States got through because they were a good team because they beat. They didn't beat anybody. They beat Ghana. Whoop dee. All right, whoop dee do. You beat Ghana. Any, any comment on that? They Can you come back to me on anything? They played even. Give me some feel. Even? One, one, and one. You but know? You didn't. You, you didn't. Ghana has Bria. Yes. You, we you tried Portugal, which you weren't supposed to do. You know, that was disappointing. 
from where they were in the uh, 80-something minute, you know, huh. figuring that you could have But Portugal, won. I think, had their backs broken against Germany because they, they scored the four goals. It's hard to come back from that, from a kind of loss like that. Right, Mike? Yeah, well, I would definitely say that people probably, when they first saw the groups, they thought that we were maybe going to lose every game. Maybe That's what I thought, yeah. Right. So I would say it wasn't like, it wasn't a disaster. So y at least you got, you got a win against Ghana. You tied Portugal. And I'd say there was, s at some time, in the, like a few parts of the game, they played like pretty decent, better than what we've seen in the past. Right. So you can always take that like away from All right, so what can you take away from this whole, all right, let's break down the next game. We're done with the Germany game. We know they got, they got yeah, I, in I my agree. mind, they got outclassed yeah, against definitely. Germany. Yeah. Outclassed. You can't, sure. you, can't, you can't play football against that team. You just can't. You, you know, you're not skilled enough. Okay, in comes Belgium now. Now you got Belgium. You know, as much as I wanted, you know, wanted the U.S. to win this game, and I thought they, I, I had slim chance of winning it. I knew deep down that they, they can't, they weren't going to win it. So, and sure enough, they did have a chance late in the game, in, in extra time to tie. They gave up those two goals in extra time. Yeah, very true. Tim Howard stands on his head, which 14. I don't know how many shots were in the game. It's got to be over 20. That. Yeah. I, I think he saved 14 of them. Right. Amazing. Official, officially. So. What you take on this game today? I mean, and just a couple Belgium hours definitely, ago. Yeah, Belgium definitely outplayed them. They were Belgium are a really good team. So if you haven't seen them, they have a, a lot of good players. Wait. You know, the U.S. played them twice, I think, and yeah, Belgium beat them, them here, yeah. right in the states. Yeah, okay. But um, yeah, they just USA they managed. They managed to hold on. Howard played great, and towards the end they should have won it. Wondolowski should have just scored that last goal. They would have gone through. And he's a player off the bench, right? Yeah. So U.S. had. Um, shot late in the game to tie it at least right yeah all oh right i mean it was dempsey right he dempsey had, had a there. chance yeah and how many goals did he got in the tournament one he got one or two i think i yeah. think is it two i think he, yeah i think he got the one against ghana maybe and he that's scored it in Portugal? he didn't know oh, he didn't? jones scored in right, Portugal right, my fault. from the shot from i think outside the 18. right right so another disappointment i think dempsey he wants to be a big shot big time player for this this country and he one goal is not going to cut it, really. One goal is not going to cut it. Yeah, well, after you Altidore know? got injured, we needed someone to step up. We could say that maybe he needed to a little bit more. Even with Altidore in, in, in the uh, lineup, maybe they're a little bit more little dangerous. Bit better, yeah. Maybe a little bit more raises up a little, but uh, can't compare with, this, you know, with the European teams. So what's well, your thought on today's game, Frank? Again, outplayed. You know, they definitely looked outmatched. Uh, from pretty much start to finish. Mm -hmm. You know, it seemed like Belgium really controlled the ball. Yeah. And like you said, ball possession. Howard played a great game, obviously. Made some really nice saves. The sad uh, part about Howard, Frank, is that he this might be his last World Cup. Yeah. Well, he's up there, right? He's old. Yeah, he's up there. And he's at it. This is his peak right here. This is yeah. it. He needed a, 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 a better 11 in front of him. Players just let they let Belgium take shots all over him. I mean, what what more can you say that the guy saved more shots than anyone in the World Cup in the last fifty yeah. plus years? Uh, I mean, it, 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 that doesn't happen in soccer, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, Mike. Uh, in hockey, that might be good. A goal that can stand on his head in the playoffs yeah, and win yeah. you a game like that. But in soccer, it's unheard of that uh, you know the ten guys in front of you don't they're not doing anything. Yeah, you know, you can't, you just can't. That just can't happen. You know, you feel bad for him, which I do, being a former keeper, that he had to keep his his team in it, and no one else could have do their job. Yeah. So, I really feel my my heart goes out to him a little bit. But, uh, you know, he'll be fine. He'll get over this. He'll go back to his club team. And, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll do great for them. Yeah, he'll do yeah. great for them exactly. So, as far as U.S. now, where they go? Well, I'd say the the one thing they should take from the tournament is. They they got the same they got to the same um, spot they got last time. Right. But I'd say they played much better. At okay. least in some of the stuff. I'll agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, like they, they passed a little bit better. I would right. say, especially against Portugal, it was probably their best game. Yes. Even though they didn't win it. Right. I, I thought they played the best then. So yeah. Maybe take that away. Klinsman, I'd say maybe give him another chance. Keep him for a few more years, maybe. He's saying something about twenty uh, eighteen, like they're gonna win the World Cup or something like that. He's he was he's been doing a lot of talk before yeah. this World Cup, something about they're not going to win it, they're not good enough, mm -hmm. and then uh, then he's telling the uh, the team and their families not to uh, 
to actually book a ticket for after July 13th. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't come know. on, come on. Being optimistic. Yeah, yeah, but then he says he's, they're not winning it before the tournament started. So you know what? I Too think I talking. think he should just zipper it up a little bit and uh, just just coach a team instead of talking to the media. I think. You know? Yeah. You that know. stuff could backfire a little bit on you. You know. Definitely, yeah. especially on the international stage. Yeah. yeah. And and especially when you're in the United States, I mean, you're playing soccer. If you were playing basketball, go for it. You know. Sp- yeah. You speak. You know, but we're playing we're playing football. Yeah, how far have we really got? Again, you know, like and I, I said. You know, it's great that they made it this far. That's twice in a row that they had a better showing. But when are they going to get over that hump? Yeah. You know, now that's what people are looking for now at this point. You know, it's great that they played better, you know, whatever. But, you know, they made, the, what, the Elite Eight that one time 20 12 years ago. 20, uh, 2002? Yeah, yeah, 2002. But in Korea. have they really done Korea. Much else? Uh, they've oh. gone backwards since then. Well, yeah. They've gone they backwards. Well, don't forget, you know, players, players age out. They get old, you know, so you got to start rebuilding all over again. Different coaches, mm. you know. But just the national team in general, you know. It, it, it's yeah. tough. It's really tough. Uh, I mean, you got to have a, you got to have like a bunch of players coming up at the same time that are that are great. You know, you have you can't just have one or two. You can't have a great goalie. It's not never going to work that way. You got to have seven or eight great players and then a couple of players you can mix in there yeah. go in there at the same time in the u.s is probably never going to have that i mean i don't know i don't think i'll ever see a world cup win for the u.s you can hope you might you're a little younger than me so <laughs> you might I, I don't know if i will um for me it's a disaster it really is you want to build on them playing okay in one game mm-hmm. yeah i'm going to be a little harder on them i'm going to say uh, it's a disaster I'm not going to go that far. Yeah. Well, I mean, of course not. You're too nice of a guy. We're not going to say <laughs> like that it was a disaster. Let me be the bad guy. Uh, a right. disaster is losing the whole group. It's still a disaster you because know? you're expected to win. You're the United States of America. You're the number one country in the world. You're Are you really to win. expected to win? You can't honestly We had the most fans in th- Brazil. Okay, so They the all went fans. out there to see so them. So the most fans all of a sudden makes you the best team? No, not at all. Of course not. <laughs> All right. What else could we d- we say about the United States? Anything else before we move on? Because there's a couple other teams I'd like to get on. Again, it's it's disappointing. You know. Of course, yeah. I wouldn't call it a disaster. I wonder I if uh, call it a great showing, but yeah. yeah I wonder I if Klinsman is going to hang out and book it. You know, because he booked his ticket till after yeah. the. Uh, Maybe he's going to get a front row seat there and watch the final. The final. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Germany could be in it. I guarantee you the rest of the team is going home, but he, he'll stay. <laughs> yeah. He's going to stay. Uh, you can't talk. You just got to coach your team and go on from there. All right, let's wrap up on the U.S. I mean, you know, maybe next time, four years from now. Uh, any team that you want to talk about? Um, uh, I guess maybe we want to mention the host first, Brazil. Yeah, let's mention Brazil. Hopefully uh, – They'll get knocked out this yeah. weekend. I, I haven't thought they really played that good. Everyone was thinking they were going to, like, win easily, maybe get to, like, the final. But they're playing, I think, Colombia. That's who they're playing. Colombia, right? yep. That's, yeah, that's, that's I thought Colombia's been playing really great. So, I don't know. It's going to be a tough game. They got their swag on, Colombia. Yeah. They're dancing after goals know, and yeah. stuff. They're happy. They're feeling good. Yeah, you know, Chile, I think, hit the crossbar late yeah. in the game. Yeah. Right? Last that would have been – I think they would have been – Man, that that whole state, the whole country would have been yeah. out cold oh. if that ball goes in. But you know what? That's okay. Colombia's a little better than Chile, yeah. I think. And even if they get by, even if Brazil gets by this game, they're gonna have to play Germany. Or Germany. I think Germany's yeah. gonna knock France out, and that's gonna be the matchup right there. Mm-hmm. If, you know game. what? If Brazil could win that game against Germany, fair and square, without any stupid referee mishaps or anything going on with you know. Fair and square, okay, then then you, you got to tip your hat to them if they can beat the Germans, all right? But up until then, well, we got a long way to go, you know, to that game. Then Colombia stands in, the, in their way. What else about that? Brazil? Brazil, I just, for some reason, I just never like seeing the host team win, unless it's my team, yeah. you know. That's the only yeah. way I enjoy it because you got a million. I feel I, like they already have that home field. Yeah. So I, I just don't like the fact that one person's got home 
home field for the whole. So you don't like the home team winning at all? Yeah, you don't like that. Well, uh, it's like it's why? Unless it's my team. Unless it's I. Uh, well, unless it's the United States, but. Yeah. Oh, or, for example, in different yeah. sports. Well, oh, diff- well, we'll stick to stock. The only sport that yeah. they change the venue. Mm-hmm. You know, not related to any. Uh, all right, so we'll see. Anything. Brazil hasn't played well, but they've they're in the quarterfinals. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Hopefully, they'll get knocked off. First time today, I think I saw Pele in the stands. Uh, it's the first time for me. Yeah, Did I you see him? I didn't know it was Brazil. Yeah, they showed him like for ten seconds. On you know, yeah. I haven't really seen I'm much sure of him. Watching, I think that's I don't know why, but he should he should be more of the face of soccer, especially it's in Brazil, the World yeah. Cup, and I haven't seen him much. Rex Ryan was at the World Cup. Yeah, Rex Ryan, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on. I he think uh hands with the US coach. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll move on to the uh I think the the games the other games in the uh, round of 16 like the Mexico, the Netherlands. Yeah. That was a I thought Mexico played really good that game. Can't believe the last like 5 minutes the Netherlands just turned it but around. But the first half the Mexicans really pressed, right? Yeah. They controlled and they didn't Did they get a goal in the first they half? They got. I think it was right after the first half. Second half they got a goal. Half, okay, yeah. so I think that's what killed them not scoring in that first mm-hmm. half when where, th- where they dominated the game. Yeah. And then uh, I got it. That's got the way they lost that game. I, I mean, know. they score a goal. Their coach is a joke, you know. You know, it really act like come on, know, jumping all over the place. You're yeah. four feet to begin with, you know. <laughs> and and it's, I don't even want to get into it. It's a family show here. I can't. <laughs> so anyhow, they tied the a game late. The Netherlands tied a game late. Yeah. I'm, I'm like going nuts. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's our rival, right? So yeah. right with the U.S. and Mexico. So they tied a the game late, and then that that call, an extra oh, actually injury time, right? Uh, that penalty kick, which had to kill the Mexicans all over, yeah. all around the world, probably. It had to. Wha- any yeah. thoughts? Yeah, no, it, it's tough losing a game like that. I mean, the you referee, know, the the referee had some care to call that PK. I yeah. don't even think it was a PK. I really, I think I look, he dove a little tough bit. Call. I yeah. think he definitely His dove. arms go he right off, dove, and yeah. he like kind of. It might have been a little it. touch, but he overreacted. Like You're right. It might have been a little touch, but he definitely yeah. just threw him his body. Probably the, the ref called it, too. Yeah. Usually the refs don't call it, but you know what? I think he he, he, he bought it. You know, the ref bought yeah. it. You know? Well, what, let's not get lost on the fact that Mexico does have your favorite player. Who's yeah. that? Just to end it. Who's my favorite player? I don't think anyone on that team is my player. But no, I know who you. I know where you're going with this boy. guy. Say it, Chicharito. <laughs> Chicharito has been uh, summoned to the bench. He's a bench player you now. You can't. Uh, yeah. You know, you your favorite soccer player in the whole world. Well, y- you know, Chicharito came in. He scored a goal against. I think he got one. Yeah. He got one for the tournament, right? I think it was Croatia. Was it that game? Yeah, I think the game was over when yeah. he scored that goal. Bench player. That's that's it. We got to mention that's them. it. Yeah, you can mention <laughs> them, but the uh, the whole Mexican team struggled to qualify. You know, mm-hmm. we could go backwards. I think the phone. I think we might have a call up, but Brian will let us know. So I'm glad that the. Uh, I think the better team. The Netherlands was supposed to win that game. Yeah, I think yeah. and it, they're more skilled player than the Mexicans. Yes. What else do we got in the uh, round of 16? Any other? The France. France was supposed to yeah. be Nigeria, right? They beat them. They oh, kind of that oh, Greek the oh the Greek game, game. yeah Greece. that was a great game I thought what happened in that game I think were they down a man yeah well no um, they Costa Rica had scored and then Costa Rica got a red card so they were down a guy they were down and then in like the in the, in uh, injury time the Greek guy just scored it they brought it to extra time and Greece were really outplaying them they just, they couldn't score so it went but to penalties and PKs yeah they ended up losing. It. Yeah, you know, losing games. Oh, that's right. Croatia, uh, Costa Rica scored uh, five PKs, I think it was, right? Yeah, they scored yeah, on yeah, all five. of them, and uh, the Greeks missed one. Or yeah. the keeper saved it, and that's the end of that. Once you miss one, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, it's very hard. It's tough, yeah. Especially yeah. if the other team's making all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, that's it when it kills you. Because if you can't make it, they're making it, you're done right away, right off the bat. You're done. They say it's a van. What do you think about that? Like, You've taken penalty yeah. kicks before, right? They said that I think the, Advan- the first people advantage who? is the advantage. The first person, the first team that gets to take it. But if you're 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 taking a PK now, do you think you have the advantage, or do I have the advantage? Because I'm a keeper. 
Oh, definitely. I think I'm it. getting in your head. Yeah, because no matter what you do, you're you're not wrong. It's keeper's advantage. Yeah. yeah. I, I think you're expected to not save it. So if you save it, right, it's like I think I've saved a couple PKs. Yeah. yeah. I think I've saved more than I let in in my whole playing. See, I kind of believe. I can I thrive on those PKs as a player. I love them, because that you save that as a goalie. Oh yeah. man, the adrenaline yeah. is like you're going nuts. And I think that your team feeds off of that too. Yeah, I, I think. Not talking about PKs at the end of a game, like a PK during a game. Yeah. Your team, if you're, especially if you're down, and that might pick up the whole team, you know. So, but I think PKs, yeah, definitely pressure on the kicker, especially in the World Cup, and it's gonna if it's gonna decide a game. Yeah, it's definitely pressure. You gotta. I think the pressure is on the kicker. Right. But I think the advantage. The advantage is keeps also on the kicker. You don't see many well. being stopped. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know what? I, I and this is what I never did this. A, a lot of these keepers are just guessing. They're good. They're gonna guess yeah. one way or the other. I never did that. I always kept my eye on the ball and I just tried to just track it down whichever way it was going. So, think I, about I, I'm not guessing. If you ask. think about when you have a breakaway, and it's just yeah. one guy, yeah. a striker against the goalie, most people think that. It's going in. Mm -hmm. you know? a, a lot of people say it's luck that a keeper stops it. Sometimes I guess it is. Some keepers are, you know. Because think about it. They, they have what? When you look at the size of them and the size of the net, right? Like let's just say they decide to go right. Okay, so you're going to the right and you're going down. There's still the left. There's still the top left. And then there's still the top right. The two toughest spots to to if you're a good if you're a good player and you, is the bottom, any any side bottom, goalie is hard. It's hard for a keeper to get that low down yeah. low, so that's where they usually go. But listen, I've seen th in this World Cup guys just blasting the ball and you know like the, I think yeah. in that Greece game, yeah, yeah, yeah they, they were, were just, yeah, they were hitting them they really were hard just blasting it, but so. You know, a lot of extra coverage too, which has been, you know, exciting. You know, let's just let's just touch on one thing also with this weather situation going on in Brazil with the <laughs> humidity, and uh, I've never in my life seen uh, a water break. I know. Oh yeah, I know. You know, know like. the other thing with that water break stuff is, uh, if you're gonna have a water break, have it for everybody. Yeah. Don't just have it for one game that you think it's too hot or have it for everybody because that's actually a timeout. Mm -hmm. And teams can regroup, you know, coaching staffs can give their players whatever they. So I, I don't like that at, at all. Definitely FIFA, for, you know, they yeah. just bad decision either. on that, just selecting these games. And I guarantee you, Brazil plays against Colombia. They're going to get their time out. Why? Because the host is playing it. I mean, you could argue that both teams are getting the time out in that one particular game. But, but do it for every right. game. Yeah, just yeah, do it for every game. Yeah, I don't yeah. care if they do it. I, of course, both teams are going to get the timeout, but do it for every game. The United States didn't get a timeout. It was 83% humidity in that game today. Yeah. That's kind of high. <laughs> yeah. How do you breathe in that, you know? So, again, uh, bad move on FIFA. Don't just do it for select games. Do it for everybody. From yeah. the start to the end. That's it. Or just don't have these World Cups in, this, in these countries. There you go. You know? Bring them bring to the States. Bring them here. Well, it's not too bad here. So anyhow, I don't know what that process is as, as far as picking these countries. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. I think it's money. That's what it is. It really yeah. comes down to dollars. So what do we got now going forward as far as the uh, quarterfinals? We got Brazil, Colombia. I think that's Brazil, Colombia. France, Germany. France. Uh, yeah, I don't think France. I think France is just about done, yeah. I think. I think they played well, but. Argentina, Belgium. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a good one. That should be a real good game, I think. Um, well, the Germany-France game, I just think Germany's going to outpower them, you know, yeah. I think. Because, you know, the France team is good. I think they they're going to be yeah, a good team. Really good. They're, they're, you know, they're back, you could say. Mm -hmm. France is back. Yeah, definitely. And um, they're going to be around for a while, so there'll be another team to contend, contend with. And what's the other? We have one more, right? Netherlands, Costa Rica. The Netherlands and Costa Rica. We need to get rid of Costa Rica. You called it. Yes. Yes, they did. 
You know, I, I did a pick at work uh, for the round of 16, and I the one game that I lost was I picked the United States. Yeah. And I, picked <laughs> I had all the other winners in the round of 16. So, All right, I want to touch on uh, my favorite team, my favorite country, you know, the Azzurri. You know, and it just it I picked them to win the World Cup. What the hell was I thinking? <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? Um, what went wrong with Italy? I thought when they played, they were just really slow. They the were just you slow thought moving. they were slow? Yeah. I thought the only one that really showed up was Pirlo, Buffon. I didn't think Chiellini did good. I thought their forwards weren't that good. No. You know, what, what do you think about their style? Like, um, I think it was a one forward system. Yeah. I think feeding the ball to Balotelli. Yeah, and sometimes he just doesn't work. He's just not playing good. Right. I don't know if I ever believed in just having yeah. everyone lob the ball to one forward. Yeah. And going against three, four defenders. That's not a good idea. I mean, but how the hell does he come up with that kind of a system? And then he quits after oh the tournament. After the That's another cop out right there. You know why? Because he's probably worried about getting hit with tomatoes in Italy yeah. <laughs> as soon as they land. But, uh, you know, I love the Italian, you know, obviously I'm a big fan of the Italian team. The first game, kind of, obviously because they won it, you felt okay going into the second game. They didn't show up at all, you know, and they got sh they got beat, won nothing. That third game, we all know what the story was yeah. of that third game. Um, Suarez, crazy. You know, probably just <laughs> loves Italian food or something, you know. <laughs> So uh, Italian meat. <laughs> he got hungry, <laughs> but you know what? As bad as that, that was his third time. Yeah, third time winning. Third time biting. Frank, let me just take a bite. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, third time biting someone. He he only got nine games. I think yeah. that's a joke. That's another Thank joke you. by FIFA. Really? Yeah. I, for me, he would have probably been banned. The max is twenty-four months. Give him mm -hmm. the max. If not, for life. Yeah, that would put him in a boxing ring with Mike Tyson. How do you, <laughs> you know? yeah, I mean. He takes the biggest bite. <laughs> you can't, how do you explain that to your kids going yeah. home like that? What are you doing? Why did you bite that guy's shoulder? How, what, how do you answer that? The Italians are full of crime. He's trying to take a bite out of him. It's just unreal. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a joke. But we you know what? I'm not going to give that any more time. Um, that, unfortunately, was the story of that last game because after that bite, they score a goal, yeah. and, uh, you know, Chiellini was all crazy. He's all stripping down there, yeah. showing the referee his shoulder, which he had, didn't want to do any, you know, anything about that. There was no call made on that yeah, no. during the game. And I think that that might have been the beginning of the end, that bite for the Italians. So, But they didn't deserve to go anywhere anyway. They, they weren't playing well enough. Like you said, they looked a little slow. I think now it's just going to be for them – just changing the whole team pretty much. I think Pirlo had already said that if the team needs him, he'll still play. He did? Yeah, yeah he mentioned that right after. He says, if they need me, I'm still here. They're going to be playing qualifying games for, for the Euros yeah. coming up in September. So they'll, they'll be right back at it. They haven't got a coach yet. They need a coach. I did hear one guy that you know, uh, said that he was willing to do it, which is uh, Cannavaro. Oh, he was? Yeah, he said that. I saw you know right after that game. He had mentioned, but uh, I think they're trying to get Pandela to come back. That's why we haven't heard anything yet. So a lot of the players are going to try and talk to him. And also the president, the Italian Federation president, resigned. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, so there's a lot of changes going on, and hopefully uh, we're going to be a younger, better team. There may be one other name uh, that I heard rumored to coach that team as well. Uh, if the person is willing to relocate. Oh, well. <laughs> It's not happening. <laughs> That's <laughs> not happening. <laughs> I tell you, I'd love to. I'd love to, um, you know, get involved in soccer again. But uh, right now, I'm enjoying just talking about it and criticizing people <laughs> when they do bad things, especially <laughs> when they bite. I, I'm having more fun doing this. You like being a Monday morning. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love it. It's, you know, there's nothing like talking about the games after. You know, critique and everything. But uh, you know, hopefully the Azzurri will be back younger. For the Euros, and I'd love to win the European Championship in two years. You know, that's something that we haven't done in a while. Yeah. So we'll take one step at a time, qualifying first. What else do we got going on in the World Cup? Anything uh, outside of soccer going on in Brazil? 
besides all the pond, it keeps showing the beaches and that water, how and beautiful that, that right? That's awesome. Right? The stadiums look too good. Too, too bad the <laughs> areas don't look as nice yeah. as the beaches. Yeah, well, you know? they're not going to show anything, uh, any negative parts of, of Brazil. But the beaches look great. And, uh, you know, it, it's good seeing all the soccer fans, you know, go down there and having a good time. They probably party all night, you know, <laughs> up all night. Yeah. Especially if your team won, your country won. What else on the World Cup? Anything? Besides, all right, let's get some uh, predictions. Well, l l yeah, let's, go, let's go with the predictions for uh, – the quarterfinals. Yeah. Who do you like in the first? Oh, well, Brazil, Colombia. I say I think there'll be an upset. I think Colombia. You going for Colombia? Any yeah. particular reason? I I just I've seen a lot of their games. I think they look really good. Who's their star player? That guy, um, James Rodriguez. James, right? LeBron James said yeah. uh, something. Gave him some props <laughs> because of his last name, right? I saw that uh, the other day. So yeah, he he scored a great goal off his chest, right? Yeah. And that and it just blasted at home. All right, so, yeah, you know what? I, I think I'll pick Colombia, too. Make that three. Three yeah, Colombians. I think uh, Jamie can go with them. Right. Partially because I want to go with them, too. All right. What's the second game going on? Let me see if I can pull it up there. What's going on? What's the second game? Is it the France game? France. France is up and coming. I don't think that – I don't think that they could uh, – I don't think yeah, they can I win this game. I think they'll probably it'll probably be close. It'll probably be a good game. I think Germany's gonna win though. They have a lot of players playing in Europe. That whole team plays in Europe mm -hmm. pretty much, right? Yeah, the Germans are uh, poised, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. So we'll go with the Germans. Yeah, Colombia, Germany, Argentina, Belgium. Argentina, Argentina you think? I say, yeah. I say they go through. Even though they didn't play well today. Yeah, I say Messi maybe makes the difference. He's the yeah. You know what? We were talking about that earlier about one person not making a difference, but mm -hmm. can he make a difference? I mean, I think he's probably the exception if there is an exception to that. But it's gonna yeah. be tough. It's gonna be a good game. Belgium are good, but I, I say Argentina go through. Like what he did today for that goal, he drew what three, yeah, four, three, three defenders, three defenders the and then he just gave the ball up, and that's what he could do. And I guess that that makes a difference. I don't know if anyone else could draw three defenders I to know. them, right? I don't. <laughs> maybe Cristiano. You yeah, think I mean his team? His team wasn't that good. He either, could never so win anything. That I guy know, and with, the, with the national team, I won't feel bad for him. He's <laughs> a pretty boy. He may, he's got a lot of money. Uh, we're not feeling bad for that guy. <laughs> um, who's the best player in the world right now, in, in your mind? Like, who would you pick? I would pick? say, I would say Messi. Messi still, yeah. Him and Ronaldo are probably like, those are definitely the two up there. Ronaldo had a better year this year, definitely. Yeah. But I would say I always like Messi, but definitely those two. Messi, Ronaldo. All right, not bad. What about Chicharito? Anything? No, on more, I was gonna say mine's on the Mexican. That's right. This guy <laughs> stuck with the Mexican <laughs> team here for some time. I know they're your favorite. Yeah. So um, we got one more game, right? Yes. What's the last game? For the quarter Costa Rica, right? Costa Rica, right? I say. Yeah, I think the Netherlands will probably win. The Netherlands, well, they should win. Yeah. They, they should win that game and get rid of that. Uh, that's the last CONCACAF team, right? Yeah. Yeah, get rid of them. All right. Um, anything else that we should touch on on this World Cup before we switch? We'll do a little Staten Island Soccer League. Who's going to win? Well, it, thing it's kind of hard. We're still in the quarterfinal stage. So, so, so what do you want to <laughs> get it? Get the two clubs. Or it's still, maybe one more <laughs> round, like <laughs> quarter. Yeah, I don't know who's gonna win it all. Can you pick a winner now? I say maybe. It's still tough to pick a winner. It is tough. You got Argentina alive, Germany, the Netherlands are still alive, Brazil. Even though we all want Brazil out. Yeah. They're <laughs> still, they're still yeah. one of the favorites. We gotta, be, you know, be honest about that. I say probably maybe Netherlands or Colombia. I'm Spain? Did someone say Spain? <laughs> Spain. I actually picked Spain. Yeah. Spain. Uh, uh. No. That didn't work out that well. Spain. Germany. Germany. All right. Yeah, you know what? Germany. Anybody but Brazil, in my mind. Yeah, oh, absolutely. How about that? Absolutely. Anybody. Right? I'll take anybody. You know? So we'll wrap up on the World Cup since we pretty much covered everything, right? Anything else? Any uh, 
What about the referees? How, what do you think about the refereeing in the World There's Cup? Been, some of them have been really good, but Bear some calls? of them have been bad. I thought the first game was terrible. The it's Brazil really game, bad. right? Yeah, yeah he gave them a PK. He gave them a penalty. Right. And he disallowed one of their goals, I think. And this is why I this is why I say that they're getting help from the referees and FIFA to win their sixth title. They're getting help. You know, if they could do this on you know without any bad calls, then you got to tip your hat. You know, you just say, th- all right, hey, they were the better team and they won it. You One more. Watch some of these referees. Uh, yeah, well, a lot of them uh, they they do their own games and stuff. Yeah. And you never know. But I don't think they inf- they there's not a referee that will do his country's games. Yeah, often. I don't think they're allowed. No. Yeah, they're not allowed to do that. So, but um. Yeah, the refereeing has been a little shaky, I think, a little shaky. But they'll weed them out, just like the teams are getting. Yeah. As soon as the te- you know the referees will be gone too, I, I believe. Yeah. I'm not sure how they rate them. Yeah, I think it's yeah. If they they see that they're not doing too good, I think they like send them home. Yeah. And they keep the guy who is. You know. I don't know his name, but there is one referee that I really like. He's bald. Is the guy Webb? Bald Howard head. Webb. It's yeah, a bald he's headed guy. He's really English good. English guy. He's really, really good as far as getting his message out there mm-hmm. to the players. And I think he has games. A lot of the games that I've Geiger. seen. Geiger. Thank you for that. Brian Lapure behind the glass giving us the info on the referee. I'm sure he was. Uh, he got that from Frank out there. <laughs> no? Oh, well, either that or he looked it up somewhere. <laughs> but anyhow, Mr. Geiger, yeah, definitely gets his message across, I think. And he's got full control of, of the games that I've seen him do. Pretty good. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Very good referee. All right. Staten Island Soccer League. You want to touch on that or anything else with the World Cup? No? Made our picks. We made our picks. We're pretty much wrapped up with the World Cup. Um, Excited for the next couple of weeks. It's going to end, right? Yeah. We got uh, to. You know, it's a shame. It, It all comes at once. You feel like you can't get enough of it. Well, the group stage. You can't watch enough of it. And then all of a sudden it's over. It stops, yeah, you know? before you. The group stage with the games every day, and you got like three games a day for like uh, two weeks or something, a week and a half. And it's like you're trying to like rework your schedule yeah, to, watch, yeah. to watch as many yeah. games as you can. And yeah. then like now you're at the point where you can start getting some days where there's no games. Mm-hmm. Like I think, for example, I think it was it was Friday. Yeah. I was home, and I said to myself, Oh, let me see what games are today. And I checked the, the web, and I said, I can't believe it. There's yeah. no game on yeah, today. Yeah. I'm actually home where I could sit and watch the games, and nothing's yeah. going on. <laughs> well, for the next two days, we got no games. The next game yeah. is on Friday night, uh, Friday afternoon, I believe. Yeah. Is it two games on Friday? I think so. Two. Yeah. One. I guess it's 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock, our time. And the same thing Saturday. Same thing mm-hmm. Saturday. Off Sunday, Monday, I think Tuesday, we're back at it yeah. again. And that'll be the final week. That's crazy. <laughs> That's just, you know, the thing is, I might not be able to watch the final anyway. I'll be out all day for Sunday. So actually, so why? So Have to DVR it or I watch I it. I on just a this is the third straight World Cup oh that boy. I have planned, right? Really? Yeah. Right in the middle of game time. So Michael, and it, we didn't touch on. What do you think about the uh, MLS? Let's get let's get on to that since uh, that's I mean, another joke in my yeah, mind. It's definitely not up to par with like the European leagues. Yeah, they they look at. I think, tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, like the rest of the world looks at this league and they laugh. The, at yeah, us, right. It's, like a a joke. it's kind of like a retirement league. It's been called. Re- all the old retirement? No, I don't know if it's a. Re- <laughs> well, it can be a retirement league. You're right because all the old guys come over. Yeah. Kaká's coming over. He's going to Orlando. Going, yeah. But I think that. You know, let's touch on this for a minute. The uh, New York FC. Yeah, the New York. I'm bringing over mm-hmm. a couple of uh, okay players, yeah, right? Via. Via's coming. I heard maybe Lampard, but I'm not sure if that's. Uh, Lampard, I think, is old. Yeah, he's but really Villa, old. I'd take him. That's he's good, good yeah. right? It's a good start. But um, as far as the whole league goes, um, maybe it's like a wreck league. It's like the wreck. Yeah. It's like a wreck, right? What do you, right? Am I it wrong for saying that? It, it's just full mm-hmm. of, like you said, Guys that are going into retirement. Mm-hmm. Our last call. Well, let, let's see yeah. this guy play a little bit. So then why don't we just rename the league to lo- to Vecchia Gloria? <laughs> you know? You know what that means for the Italians out there? Vecchia, well, the non-Italians, the old glory. Uh, and that's well, what I think it is. And that's the league that I played in in Brooklyn when I was like 37 years old, <laughs> 38 years old. Vecchia Gloria was the name of the league, really. And it had all these old guys playing, you know, and we had fun. We played in the gym indoors. 
And uh, if anyone is watching this, they might remember. I mean, you know, Lafayette High School we played in. It's only yeah. a shame that uh, we couldn't make the Millie. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's when I banged my knees up and I stopped playing because of on a gym floor. So. Yeah. But yeah, they should rename the MLS to the Vecchia Gloria. That's uh, it. I mean, no, really, get, seriously, there's no money, and I think that's the number one reason, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah, so. what are the players getting in Europe? They're getting oh, millions, they're getting so pounds, yeah. whatever you want to call it, right? Like baseball they players. They don't get a lot in MLS, I don't think. No, I think yeah. that, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't know if 20,000, is, 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 is it 20,000? That's, that's ridiculous. That's that's unless wow. you're like a big name player, like the old guy. It might be a little bit more than that, more. and you know, but it's around that range, 20, 30,000 dollars a year. It's basically mm -hmm. like an attraction. Yeah. You know. Right, they're playing. Job with that. They're also, this league is also playing during the summer, which we know mm -hmm. uh, everywhere else is on vacation, mm -hmm. right? All the other leagues are on vacation. And, you, and you're competing against our major sports here, the other three. Yeah. Well, baseball. You're competing against baseball, which yeah. in this country, baseball is almost number one. Yeah. So. If you look at the stadiums around, what does um, Red Bull Arena hold? Do you know how many? I'm not sure. Cause I heard like twenty thousand. Is it twenty? Yeah. That's small. That's it's nothing. Really small That's nothing. Yeah, there you go. So, so how much can a player make? You know, if you're, if you're building, and that's a brand new stadium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they had to move out of Giant Stadium because they were only filling up like three thousand, four thousand seats at one time. That's how bad it was. So. I don't know what it's gonna take. It's probably gonna have to take star players to come here and pay. You gotta pay them. Attract yeah. them with the money. Wave the money to them and they'll come over. Uh, that's the only way to get them. All right. MLS is still going on? I totally I forgot so. about that league. They I didn't shut yeah, down, right? Really. Now that's another thing. The MLS, they I'm sure a lot of players are in the World Cup, right? From all over. Yeah. Now, how do you play, like the Red Bull how, or any team, how do you play, how do you continue to play when your best players are, are in the World Cup? How do you play? You know, yeah. I know in Italy, the national team plays, everything is shut down. Yeah. There's no games. No Club teams do not play. Probably Why? Because we took all your best players to play for the national team. Why? They, there's no reason for them to play. Mm -hmm. In this country, no, we just keep playing. Let's go play soccer. Yeah. Well, it shows you how they regard. The mentality is just yeah. totally night and day. Night and day. You can't, you, you can't do that. Number one, when the national team is playing, I'll say Italy because I know that, the respect, nobody else plays. I think Serie B, like the second division, they might play. But the first division in Italy never plays when the national team is playing. They shut down. That's it. Over here, they, they continue playing like, you know. That's it. That's bad. That's the bad part. I, and again, I wish there was people like that that ran this league and just understood how to just follow the European style. Yeah. Follow their style. Play this. Start to see it in, in August and end it in May. Yeah, that would be better. I don't care what what teams are going on. In, mm -hmm. You know, share the stadium with the Giants. Get it done. The Cosmos did it back in the you know in the seventies. All right. So. That's uh, you know that's all I got to say on that subject. What do you think about uh, the uh, the World Cup for 2022? I haven't heard much about that. I think you have more information about the. Uh, Qatar. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, what I heard that's becoming like a real quagmire. What the as heat? As far as the heat. Yeah. I heard yeah. something that <coughs> they might have like bribed FIFA, so they might do another mm. vote on it. And yeah. that the U.S. maybe would be able to host it. Really? Well, they might I put a bid in, yeah. I, yeah, I heard that, uh, I don't know if this, this is mi misinformation or wishful thinking, I had heard that if it gets too deep in, mm -hmm. you might have more recent information, because I heard this a few weeks back, I heard that if it gets too deep in, right. the U.S., I think, is the first to open it. Yeah, I think so. It's basically like, Let's say we get to, like, past the next World Cup, mm -hmm. and then it becomes too far to award it to somebody else. Yeah, I heard, just I heard that, too. Because we could do it, like, quick. We could set up Well, that yeah, the, the U.S. is the best facility, which obviously would be good for us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love that. how much would uh, it's, you the know people what? in that region hate us? Yeah. <laughs> the, the World Cup should be played in Europe all the time. How about that? What do you think about that? Why? 
Uh, why are they coming to this country for? This country's back doesn't know their ass from their elbow about <laughs> soccer. Yeah, but since they're this is why they won't come here often, because the money. There's no there's no league here. There's no money here. That has a lot to do with it, I think. Yeah, but there's people you. that are gonna go and spend to go. Uh, people will go, yeah, but you know? FIFA. I think FIFA, you know, they they they're just gonna look and where can we where's the, where's the money? I mean, people for something like that. I, I think, think the Americans women's are gonna spend money. You know, to go. Uh, ninety eight, it was here, right? Back in ninety eight, I think. Yeah. Ninety four. Ninety four. Ninety four. Yeah. And ninety nine, the women's. I think the women's World Cup might have been a bigger attraction than the men's. And not because uh, they won yeah. it, not because the women won it. I think it was just more the the, the team, the better the team, the better. Well, mm -hmm. and more winning, and, and winning brings you everything. It's gonna bring you dollar signs. It's gonna bring you World Cups. It's gonna, you know, we're talking about the women's for a second because we only got a couple minutes to go. They have uh, their World Cup in Canada next year. It's right next door, yeah. so it's almost like being at home. As soon as we knock Canada out, which we're going to do, because that's our number one arrival. I can't stand them, even though i got plenty of family in Canada. But, um, yeah, just uh, once we knock them out, that would be almost like playing at home. Mm. You know, as you know, we could just drive there and watch yeah. the game, which <laughs> I might end up doing, definitely, if they play in Toronto, the United States. But, uh, again, it's going to come down to dollars. Um, I think in Europe, the weather at this time of year is not as bad as you know, in Brazil. Sure. So select a country where, you know, the players are not going to get beat up. Don't forget, they're coming off a long season, right? Mm -hmm. These guys are drained. A lot of these yeah. guys, you know, I it's tough. The problem is you've got to be fair, too, you know. Yeah, you Unfortunately. Spread. Why do you have to be fair? There's countries that will never get a World Cup. And, uh, there's countries playing in the World Cup that will never see one. Why do you have to You're be right. fair? You're Why right. do you have to be yeah. fair? You know, if you always have it in one part of the world, you know, as yeah. much as I don't like it, if they have it in. How many Korea times has it been? How many Australia. times has it been here in the United States? How many times? Uh, one you know? that I know. Yeah, one. I think it was just one. Just yeah. one time. So they, uh, we've been playing. So uh, they've been in the tournament since uh, the early 50s. Unfortunately. All right. Because it comes down to dollars. That's why. That's why it's not. Now that they saw, you know, the U.S. has a halfway okay team, they brought it back that one year. You know, they were they were starting to make strides. You know, Tony Miola, the goalie. You know, back yeah. then, back <laughs> in those days. So uh, the guys that are in the booth now, I think, for ESPN, all those oh guys boy, played in there. Yeah, Lawless yeah, 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 yeah. played. All those guys. So mm -hmm. I know I think they should do a better job of selecting where it's going to be played S after seeing this World Cup. Yeah, oh. Definitely, you know, with this heat and humidity, I it's just going to kill these players. Yeah. You, it's you not good for the game. You're not getting the best out of all well your Well, that's mm -hmm. the problem. You want to see soccer at its best. This is what it, this is the showcase right here. This is the, so you want to see all these players, you know, energized, right, and not hunched over, and, and, you know, especially when these games now – as you go on later in the tournament, are going to go into extra time because you got the best of the best going at it. And you're going to see one-goal games now. You're not going to get three goals in a game anymore. So, all right, I think uh, Brian is just shutting us down here, you know, saying that that's it. We got, I got to stop talking. <laughs> Michael, anytime, you're welcome thank on you. the show. Thank you for thank coming you tonight. For coming Frankie, around, as always, thank you. Same here. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching Stand Out Soccer Report.